Extreme caution must be used when using any winch system under tension. Be sure to keep your body away from the winch mechanism when in the process of winching. Be aware of anything that seems unusual and determine the cause. For example, if you notice that you are winching and the craft is not moving as it usually did in the past, this could indicate that a line or the craft is caught on the dock. Release the line tension and fix the problem before tensioning the system. You are solely responsible for the regular inspections, maintenance, and replacement of all components, lines, and connections to the winch craft and dock. Contact Jet Dock for replacement recommendations. Warning, severe injury or death and or craft or dock damage may result from ignoring warnings or improper use and maintenance. Line up the craft with the center of the dock during the approach. Initial contact with the dock shall be no more than a gentle zero mile per hour kiss. Approach at less than idle speed and use neutral and reverse to slow the craft so that it makes gentle contact with the dock. Once in contact with the dock, place the craft in forward and steer to maintain the craft straight relative to the dock. Apply slight throttle so that the craft's bow rises onto the dock and is positioned parallel with the safety pause position sticker. Hold the craft in the safety pause position while straightening the craft for drive on. Once the craft is straight, gradually but firmly apply the throttle. The craft will rise onto and be captured by the dock. Jet dock mandates that the safety pause position be used and that when first attempting drive on, the customer be extremely conservative with the amount of throttle applied. For example, apply 20% throttle instead of 30% and gradually increase until the dock captures the craft. Once the dock has captured the craft, shut the engine off and lift the drives where applicable. Place the red winch assist launch line over the bow eye and connect the winch hook to the bow eye. Carefully winch the craft forward so that the bow is positioned over the bow position sticker. The craft is now in the night storage position. Remove tension from the winch and adjust the winch to prevent unreeling. If your system is located in an area where conditions could get rough and the craft could slide back and tension the system, connect the craft to the dock with a tension relief line, which will go taut before the winch system. Damage may occur to backup safety winch turrets if under constant tension. When your craft is in the night storage position, it is cradled in and on open wells and uneven surfaces which cannot be seen. It is your responsibility to make all people who use this system aware of these unseen obstacles. All docking systems are shipped complete with caution stickers in the area where these open wells are located. In the event that these stickers are missing, damaged, or unreadable, please contact Jet Dock immediately for free replacements. Jet Dock requires that a launch safety line be used to attach your craft to a stationary dock. Be certain to remove the safety line to prevent it from being sucked into your craft's jet pump or prop. The detent pin must be inserted completely through the pedestal at all times of winch operation. Remove all tension from the winch system. Remove the detent pin located on the winch pedestal and rotate the winch so that it is pointing towards the stainless steel ring located on the starboard upper surface of the dock. Extend the winch hook and connect to the stainless steel ring. Reactivate the pawl on the winch and begin to reel in winch line. Notice that the craft will begin sliding sternward. As mentioned previously, Jet Dock requires that a launch safety line be used to attach your craft to a stationary dock. Continue to winch your craft off the dock until it reaches the sweet spot. The actual location of the sweet spot is dependent upon the craft size and environmental conditions and can be defined as the position where the craft can be easily hand launched or powered off the dock. Stop winching the craft back at the sweet spot. Remove the tension from the winch. Remove the winch hook from the ring and connect it to the red winch assist launch line near the bow eye. Remove the detent pin, pivot the winch back to the night storage position and reinsert the detent pin. Reactivate the pawl on the winch and reel in the winch line. The winch assist launch system is now prepared for drive on. If you are launching a jet boat, a gentle tug from the port or starboard side before boarding is all that is needed to launch the craft. If you are launching an outboard or I.O., 
Board the craft and situate yourself at the helm. Lower all drives, being certain that cooling water intakes are below the surface, and gently power off the dock. If you are launching an inboard craft, the craft cannot be started while on the dock because its cooling intakes are not in contact with the water. This type of craft must be launched completely using the winch assist launch system and be started while in the water. Once the craft is free of the dock, remove the launch safety line and enjoy your ride.